So first of all, we will start by creating an account on GitHub. Just put a username, email, password, just put a password. Okay, I'll, I'll click that, why not? Uh, verify pick the dice pair adding up to 7. Done. And create an account. What kind of work you do? I guess software engineer. How much program experience do you have? A lot. And what do you plan to use GitHub for? Host a project. I'm interested in languages. Complete setup. Okay, now you'll get a verification in your email. Just go to your email. So you should get an email like this one. Just click verify email address. Now it asks us for what do you want to do first. And skip for now. And that's it. We just created a GitHub account. So now our next step is to download Git. You can do that through Googling Git download or just follow the link in the description. And I'm using Windows, so I'll say download for Windows. So Git was successfully downloaded. Just double click and open it. Click yes. Now click install. And click launch git pass as we want to work with it right now and click finish. Okay, I don't want to see that. Delete downloading package. And let's go to our git now. As you see, we have git bash open. If you accidentally delete that, just click git bash and open that. We want to run some commands. Let me open my notepad. Just copy the commands from the description. I cannot copy paste it, so I'll just type that. And now here we want to put our email. Dot com. Generating public and private RC key pair. Enter file in which to save the key. If you don't want to use a custom file, just click enter. Overwrite yes, because I already have one, but it shouldn't ask you if you don't have one. Enter a passphrase. I'll just leave it empty. Or you can enter a passphrase, whatever you want. Boom. Now we want to run this command. S. Now SSH. Add. And the last command is to actually copy paste that generated file, which I'll show you where I'm going to use it in a bit. So we just run that command again. And now it's copy paste to my computer, let's say. So now you want to go back to your GitHub, click your settings, the settings. And now we want to go to SSH and GPG keys, click new SSH key, SSH, not SSH, sorry. And now I'll put whatever title you want, I'll do SSH key. And now I'll just copy paste the whole thing here and click add SSH key. And we successfully add an SSH key. And what that does is it allows us to make a connection from our local computer to our GitHub. So we don't have to enter our credentials every time we want to push our repository to GitHub. That's way easier. And now let's go and get a new repository started. So click on your photo profile and click on your repository. Click new, put a name for your repository. I'll put test and click private or public, whatever, create repository. So I got the file that I was working in the previous video. We will open command line. Now do me a favor and click SSH and follow step by step. So we will do git init, do some slight changes. So git add and I want to push all the files that I have in the folder and not only a specific one, but if you want to do a specific one, just name the file. Then I will do git commit. So let me run that one first, then git commit. And then I want to add the git remote. And on the push, we want to do instead mass. I say key finish. I say you want to continue connecting. Yes. Please type your name. Yes. Permanently added that. Okay. And boom. We successfully deployed. If I restart my page, boom, we successfully pushed on GitHub. So if you like the video, like and subscribe, click that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And let me know in the comments what I shall do next. Thank you.